Hi there, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants. This is my indoor nursery and today we're talking about why are your Nepenthes making smaller pictures? <laughs> so this is something that we would call regression. And it's a common question that I do see. And there's a bu bucket load of different uh, causes and issues that could be the problem here. So I'm just gonna rapid fire through the list. Acclimation, so if you just recently got the plant and you have not properly acclimated it, or it's going through the process of acclimation itself and you are at the point where you are reducing the humidity. Anytime humidity is reduced, uh, the plants will tend to uh, have a little bit of a time because the pitchers are such a specialized, like, you know, structure for these plants to produce. Typically speaking, they're the first to dry out whenever they're are humidity issues because there's a waxy layer on the outside of plants and if it's not you know adequate for the area or the humidity levels in the area it will cause the plant to rapidly dry out first thing to go is typically the pitchers now the second biggest one that i'll see pest so either spider mites thrips etc there's all kinds of different things that could be eating your plant soil mites even depending on what kind of mix you have you should definitely start looking around your plant, seeing if they have pest damage. So pest damage will be typically noted by like weird twisted growth, usually with the most, with the newest growth, as well as uh, you'll notice um, just a lot of general issues. Like right here, I have a good example here. So like this plant was uh, growing and this is more, this is not pest damage, this is back with humidity. It just realized and dawned on me as I was thinking about it. This plant, whenever I was having all of my Nepenthes covered for the winter, because in the winter time here in Ohio, humidity drops to almost zero. This plant uh, reached out of the humidity dome and you can see started twisting and then the plant does not want to produce a pitcher. This is a common issue for me up here in Ohio. Might be an issue where you are at, but generally speaking in the winter because of the uh, difference in humidity levels and the fact that colder air does not hold as much uh, uh, water as warm air whenever the cold air from outside circulates into your house and our home and gets warmed up by the heating it now can hold much more moisture and it pulls that moisture from your plants that will well for me in particular I noticed that in the winter time particularly in the fall right whenever it starts snowing I'll see all of my Nepenthes stop producing pitchers, and then the older pitchers will start going into a noticeable decline. That's the point whenever I usually toss them under domes, and if the ones that are too big, take a cutting, put those in the cutting dome, and let the uh, mother plant, you know, recover in higher levels of humidity. So between acclimation, humidity, stress, and uh, pest, those are typically the big three. Uh, there's other things like inconsistent watering could be an issue to where like you're not properly watering the plant, which you want it to be able to, whenever you water it, top water into Penthe, so pour water over top the uh, pot, let it run through and let it essentially dry almost between uh, watering. Don't let it get all the way dry, but like let it get a good amount of moist moisture out of there. Nepenthes like a lot of root oxygenation for healthy growth and if uh, you're not respecting that it can cause issues with the pitchers lighting if you don't have adequate enough lighting and what I mean by that is it can either be too much light or too little light and that'll typically be denoted by uh, the color of the leaf it'll show you a stress color which this red dragon here kind of has it going on even though it's not really too stressed at the moment you'll see like this reddish coloration on what is normally a green plant that's typically a sign of lighting stress and it typically tells you that oh maybe I should uh, reduce the lighting a little bit because uh, the plant is telling you that hey I'm, uh, I'm experiencing a little sunburn here that can also lead to reductions in pitcher size uh, inadequate feeding so if you're not feeding your Nepenthes enough that can also lead to them not having enough energy to produce a large pitcher and you'll notice a very like you know substantial decrease over time from pitcher to pitcher, if everything else is correct. And lastly, but not least, combination of all of these other, all these issues together, or just one or two of them, can also stress the plant and make them not want to produce larger pitchers, or even pitcher at all. 
So as you can see, there's a lot of different things that can be an issue. And honestly, if you just tell me and send me an email saying, oh, John, my pictures are getting small. What do I do? I need a picture. Best place to go, Carnivorous Plant Discord in the description. Put your picture up there. There's a bunch of other people who grow Nepenthes other than me. Frankly, some of them with a lot more experience than me who can uh, definitely ask you some questions and figure out exactly what's going on and give you a good you know, idea of what to do given the species or uh, hybrid you're dealing with. I have a general knowledge of Nepenthes, but I'm nowhere near a specialist. So definitely uh, refer to uh, more experienced people whenever it comes to you know, a wider berth than what I got going on. Typically speaking, I usually only ever grow lowlanders or intermediate. So uh, there's a bunch of other people in the Discord that grow highland plants, uh, very specifically. And I'm just not going to, you know, blow smoke up your butt telling you that I know something that I don't. But I do know from the very few highland plants I do have that, frankly speaking, it's pretty much the same situation. And there's just an added, you know, mix of other issues that could be occurring such as you're not getting enough temp drop or humidity not being correct just like before just yeah it definitely just pop in the discord if you're having this issue with a highlander and you're uh, a little bit confused or if you know you didn't in the list of all the stuff i was ranting off about it didn't sound like one of those things was the problem hop in shoot a picture we'll, we'll be able to help you out and sort you out Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the links in the description. One of them is to the Discord. One of them is to my nursery where you can buy a plant for me directly and help support this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one.